ओम श्री साई राम भागवता वाहिनी चैप्टर सिक्स विदुरास रेनसिएशन हु कैन ओवरकम द डिक्रीज ऑफ वेट इन द पैलेस विदुरा आस्कड अबाउट द वेलफेयर ऑफ ऑल हिज किन्समैन देन कुंती देवी द क्वीन मदर came in and casting her endearing looks at him said at last we see you o vidra she could say no more after some time she resumed how could you stay away so long ignoring the children whom you reared with so much love as well as myself and others who revere you so much through your grace my children are rulers of this land today where would they be today if you had not saved them on many a critical occasions we were the targets of many a disaster but but the greatest one was your being away from us that affected us most even the hope of seeing you again was extinguished in us now our hearts have sprouted again aspirations scattered by despair have come together today our joy has attained fullness oh what a happy day kunti sat for a while wiping her tears vidura held her hands and could not resist his own tears has e recapitulated the varied events of the past in the pandava and kaurava groups he said mother kunti devi who can overcome the decrees of fate what must happen happens the good and evil that men do have to result in good and evil how can man be called free when he is bound by this law of cause and effect he is a puppet in the hands of this law it pulls the strings and then he moves our likes and dislikes are of no consequence everything is his will his grace as vidura expounded the fundamental spiritual truths that go on human affairs the brothers dharmaraja bhima nakula and sahadeva sat near wrapped in close attention Kunti raised her head at last through your blessings we won the war but we were powerless to save the lives of draupadi's and subhadra's sons misfortune haunted us so strongly of course as you said no one can escape one's destiny well let the past be forgotten it is meaningless to worry over what cannot be set aside set right i must say that my thirst has now been considerably relieved at meeting you at last where were you all this time tell us vidura replied that he had been on a pilgrimage to some holy places the brothers listened with rapt attention prodding him with questions dharmaraja said often that he was waiting for the day when he too could go through all those holy experiences he folded his palms in reverence whenever a holy shrine was mentioned and, and with closed eyes pictured to him the sacred spot vidura describes the glory of krishna meanwhile bhima interjected did you go to dwaraka please tell us your experiences there dharmaraja added you must have met lord krishna there right tell us all what happened in full detail kunti devi also became eager to hear his description tell us tell us my son is there now you must have met him too how is everyone i hope the old parents nanda and ashoda are well and devaki and vasundara vasudeva a shower of questions fell on vidura even before he started talking vidura was not eager to answer 
he talked as if he was anxious to avoid being drawn into the topic he had learned from uddhava while on the way to dwaraka that the yadava clan had perished and that krishna had closed his human career he did not want to plunge the pandavas into grief just when they were elated at meeting him after a long time why should i who has go, given him given them so much joy be the cause of wiping out that joy he argued they are sure to know about it from arjuna who will return from dwaraka with the sorrowful news so he swallowed the news that popped up often into his mouth he satisfied himself and then them by describing the glory of krishna he said i did not like to visit kith and kin with these ascetics robes on so i did not meet any of the yadava leaders or nanda eshoda and others and kept quiet he did not dilate further on dwaraka and his own pilgrimage i came to you because i knew you won the war and are at last peacefully engaged in ruling over the kingdom which was rightfully yours i felt drawn towards these children whom i had fostered from a tender age it was affection toward them that drew me here among my kith and kin i was tempted to visit only you i did not want to meet any others he said and he turned to the vedantic teachings that he wanted to impart when the con- conversation ended dharmaraja invited vidura to stay at quarters specially arranged for him and accompanying him to the mansion there he appointed certain people to serve vidura and asked him to rest vidura decides to visit his brother the blind king vidura did not relish the idea of spending time in that seat of luxury but he entered the mansion that dharmaraja be displeased he lay on his bed reviving that fast he sighed he sighed when he realized that the stratagems that his blind brother dhritarashtra used to destroy the pandavas the children of his other brother pandu recoiled and caused the destruction of his own clan he admired dharmaraja for his, for the magnanimity he showed dhritarashtra in spite of the fact that he had tortured the pandavas in various ways dharmaraja revered him with great faith and devotion and attended to his comforts vidura felt at most disgust when he thought about the wickedness of dhritarashtra's heart he was ashamed that the old man may coolly wallowed into the luxury of the palace instead of cultivating detachment from the flimsy pleasures of the senses and attempting to realize the goal of human life liberation from the cycle of birth and death he experienced uncontrollable agony that his brother was wasting his few remaining years of life his yogic vision told him that the pandavas would also soon disappear that the krishna who guarded them here would look after their best interest in the year after too but he guessed that the blind king would suffer more after the pandavas departure he resolved to send his unfortunate brother out into pilgrimage and the ultimate realization of his destiny he did not want any delay so he slipped out in the darkness without being noticed by anyone and walked straight to dhritarashtra's residence jai sai ram